Substances in a solid state usually have a higher density and smaller volume than in a liquid state. Water is an exception. Frozen water has a larger volume and lower density than liquid water. This is connected with the structure of the water molecule. It consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The hydrogen atoms are more positively charged, while the oxygen atom is more negatively charged. This makes the whole water molecule polar. Water molecules interact with one another, with connections forming between them, so-called hydrogen bonds. In liquid water, molecules are in constant motion. They move around one another, and the connections between them form and break. As the temperature falls, so does the energy of the water molecules, which move more and more slowly. Above 4 degrees Celsius, water behaves like most other substances. It shrinks as the temperature decreases. At 4 degrees Celsius, water has the highest density. It is then that water molecules are most tightly packed and occupy the smallest volume. However, between 4 and 0 degrees Celsius, water behaves in an untypical way. As the temperature drops, it expands, that is, it gradually increases in volume and decreases in density. Water molecules now arrange themselves to form a crystal lattice in which they can only vibrate. Water freezes. Ice has a loose structure where the distances between molecules are larger than in liquid water. There is a lot of free space here. Therefore, ice occupies a larger volume and is less dense than water. As a result, ice floats on water. Because water at 4 degrees Celsius has the highest density, it collects at the bottom of a body of water. And because there is liquid water under the ice, life can continue there.